Hey guys, I'm Malik, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make, like, a flower for Mother's Day since it's coming on May 9th. So, let's get started. The pieces you'll need is four. You'll need four of these. They're one by two yellow ones. These is going to be for the nectar. It's going to be four of these, one by twos. You're going to need eight of these. Two by uh, one by twos as well, two by one, whatever you want to call it, and it's gonna be purple since I'm doing a purple flower. You can do yours like blue or whatever colors or red, whatever. You're gonna need sixteen of these. It sounds like a lot. It oh. is. You're gonna need sixteen of them. They're two by threes that are purple since I'm making a purple flower. You're gonna need eight of these. Two by fours that are green. This is going to be like the stem. And then you're going to need two of these. One by twos that are green. Two of them. So, first you want to take three of these two by fours and just stack them on each other right there. So it looks like this. Next, what you want to do is take the other 2x4 and put it going off to the side by one, just like this. Like that. Then you want to take one, your, one of these 2x1s or 1x2s, whatever you want to call them, the green one, and you put it behind there. Then you want to take a 2x4 and put it right behind it like that or I'm gonna make an example you can use these two you can use these one by twos that are green and then just put them four right next to each other like that and it will be perfect just like the other ones then you want to take another two by four and put it right on top of that one going the opposite way so right now it should look like green stairs basically going upwards like that then you want to take your last one by two that's green and put it right there behind the top one the one on top then you want to take your final and last ones that are two by fours that are green and then you put them right on top so that it's evened out so Two of the stuff are on here, and then it's evened out, so one of them are sticking out on each side. Then you're going to want to do that with the other one as well. Put it right next to there, so it's evened out. Next, what you want to do is take these 2 by 3s and just put them on the corner so that it's like kind of sticking out. Like right there. You see how it's going down 2 by 4 right here? You're going to want to put it on the four side. You're going to want to put two of it on like that. So there's two left here. I know it's a two by three. It should cover this whole thing is what you're probably thinking. But no, since I'm making a different flower, I did not look on YouTube actually. And this, you're going to want to put it like kind of going off on each side. Then you're going to want to. Do that on the other side as well. Going like this. So it looks like this. Then what you want to do is take two of these 1x2s and put them right next to the 1x3s. One second. Alright. So you're going to want to take two one by twos and put them on each side just like this so there's one of them on each side a one by two just like that then you want to take another two by three and then place it right there so it's sticking out it should look like this in the L shape on the corner this is going to be like the petals and then like the leaves sticking out. There's the flower. Then you want to take another 2 by 3 and put it on the other side as well like this. 
Then you want to take two one by twos and put them in the open space right there, sticking one side out and one side connected. Let me do that real quick. Or you can use, actually, you can just use a, a two by two and um, put it on the side, like right there, a two by two. And you can use a two by four going across here. Next, what you want to do is grab another two by three and put it on top of the two by three going like that. That has two dots right there. You want to go ahead and put it on two of the three dots. So it's sticking out like that. And we're basically going to repeat what we did on bottom on top. Then what you want to do is take a two by three and place it right next to that going this way. So it looks like this, kind of like stairs. Then right here, you're going to want to take two by three and put it on the side like that. So it's right here. Then take another two by three and put it right next to that. Just like this. And one side should be sticking out on all sides. Then you take a two by three and you put it from this side, you just put it right next to there, boom. And now it's overlapping so that these pieces won't fall apart. Then what you want to do is take another 2x3, taking a lot of 2x3s. Then right here with the two dots, as you can see, you want to put the 2x3 right there on top. Should look like this. Then take a 2x3 and put it so that it's connecting these three right here. There, now it's connecting the three right here. Then I'm gonna take another two by three and put it right there on the corner. So it looks like this. It's kind of the second layer. We're gonna make one more layer, but before we do that, we're gonna take these, all four of them, of these one by twos, and just put them on the green one right there in the bottom. You want to put it on the green because that's going to be like the nectar like in a real flower to be yellow there like that then you want to take your last two by ones or one by twos whatever you call them that are yellow and then you put them right there on top there just like that so it's even level with this then the last part you want to do is take a one by three and put it on that side right there so it connects them all together right here just like that this is the final layer we're gonna do until the row the whatever you call it blue bonnet is finished then right next to it right here you're gonna wanna take a one by two that's purple and then put it right here next to it oops i broke the bottom on accident there fixed it so you're gonna want to put it right here i pushed too hard there right next to it then what you want to do is take a two by three and put it next to the one by two right there Just like that, right here. So that it's a two by three, a one by two, and then a two by three. Then what you wanna do, take another one by two and put it on the other side where there isn't one by two. So right here. So there's the one by two in there, and then there's one on the outside here. Then you wanna take a two by three and put it going on this side, right here. 
on the side you put the one by two. Just overlap them right there. So it's overlap. Then what you want to do is take a one by two and put it next to the side that you have overlapped right there. It'd be right here, the smaller side. Then you'd put it right there. Then you take your last, your second to last piece, which is the two by three, and put it right there next to it. Then your last and final piece is the one by two, or the two by one, and then you put it right there in that little spot. Then the flower is done. I hope you guys enjoyed this video of how to make a flower out of Legos for Mother's Day. If you did enjoy the video, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.